Um, I see a lot of vintage Christmas ornaments. Oh, whoa. Welcome to episode 16. In this episode, we're going to do more house cleanout unboxing. I wanted to have a sourcing video, shopping video ready for you guys this week, but unfortunately, this weekend we had a lot of rain, so a lot of the sales didn't happen. Maybe this weekend it'll clear up and we'll have some this weekend, but we got plenty of stuff in the storage unit that needs to be gone through and uh, opened up and uh, listed on eBay. So let's get into it and see what we got in these boxes. Okay, let's start with these first couple boxes here. I see one right away. It says McCoy and Roseville Pottery. So that's obviously more McCoy. But I got my trusty Swiss Army knife that my buddy James gave me. It says Go Adventure. All right. What we got in this box? flower basket piece of pottery uh, it's beautiful it says roseville usa 384-8 absolutely beautiful piece of pottery We, this is actually the second one of these I have, so I have to go into our listing. I'm going to have to change my quantity to two because we have two of these. This is a McCoy piece. Let me see. Okay, let's open the second box. And I know you'll notice I have this nifty little bracelet on here. My daughter gave me this, special delivery. She said this was my superpower, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says happy. And I'm like, what a great superpower to have. My superpower is making people happy. But she has one that says uh, strong on hers, and she pretends to be the She-Hulk, because she recently saw She-Hulk and absolutely loves it. She loves any girl superheroes. Anyway, let's see what we got in this box. I started looking in there, and I realized there's probably a lot of small pieces in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap this and put in everything on the tailgate so you can see it better, so you don't have to waste time watching me unwrap everything. But I'll be right back. Okay, I got everything unwrapped. First, we got a couple of Christmas ornaments. Feels like they're plastic, not actual glass. This one may be glass. These two definitely feel like plastic. Uh, that one thing is for like a shot glass, for sure. It's a good look. It's like, I don't know what that is on there. It's a shot glass, vintage shot glass. A couple speckled tumblers, vintage tumblers plastic a apple figurine a mid-century let's 60s or 70s for sure butter dish like oranges lemons let's see what it says on the bottom it says enarco on the bottom looks like a couple of these rosary rosaries See the cross right could be wrong if i'm wrong i don't want to offend anybody but i think that's what these are rosaries uh, looks like some vintage stirs uh, barware of some sort i'm not really sure what these are used for these got little stoppers on the end not sure about that rooster figurine weird rabbit but that feels like plastic a couple of duck figurines it says esco japan i s c o maybe let's go i don't know i'll have to do some research but i'll figure that out this is in this last little box this is I literally have no idea what this is. It's got two buttons that moves up and down. Arkansas, the land of opportunity. Some little souvenir trinket. Okay, moving on to the next box. Oh man, this is heavy. 
as you can see it says <laughs> I definitely wrote that on there so this was obviously metal brass because there was a lot of cool copper metal brass stuff in this house all right let's see what we got some vintage pie tins new england flaky crust pie table talk five cent deposit two of them Some more random tins. Various artwork on it. Like traffic. House on a bridge. Those are cool. We got a little bit of rust. I don't have to clean them up. Oh, that one. Uh, this seems to be missing a lid, I think. It's probably in the box somewhere. Copper. Budapest paint wall plaque. A metal Statue of Liberty figure. That is an old rake of some sort. Definitely very old though. Copper teapot. Made in Taiwan, so nothing special really. Brass, some oil can of some sort. Some uh, kitchen tools. This is a flower sifter. Open. This is a opener of some sort. We've sold this before. I forget exactly what it was. Jar and bottle opener. Screw top opener. A little rusty. See, it was like a grinder. Universal food chopper. Great Britain. It's like a little brass lamp, oil lamp. Made in India. Never used. A brass rooster. Brass stuff always sells really easily and it's generally pretty safe and easy to ship. So we like selling brass stuff. Candle holder. Little brass animal figurines sell very easily. Another candlestick holder, nothing special, it doesn't look like brass goblet of some sort. These are also brass candlestick holders, a pair of them. Uh, space here. Now, what are these? These. Something in that one. These are huge brass. Is that a shell of some sort? The casing? Uh, ben Mark II gun mod. Yeah, I, I guess that's what all these are. There's four of them. There's another one. Yes, it's gun mod. Huh. Those four of those are various sizes. There's another one. That one, the bottom's a little clearer, maybe. Still not the easiest to read. But we'll do some research. I'll find out exactly what these are. But like I said, it's, they'll probably sell pretty easy because, I don't know, something about brass. People love it. A little rooster brass trinket dish. Another little brass 
lamp, but it doesn't have the wick in this one. Uh, electric knife sharpener, handy Hannah, vintage knife sharpener. Well, I got a couple pieces of a mouse and I have a cannon here, but it looks like it's missing the cannon. Maybe it's in one of these boxes. Mm, I don't see it in here. Yeah, well, maybe it's not in this box. But that was the brass metal box. I'm going to get this cleaned up and moved out of the way so we can move to the next box. All right, now look at this copper bucket basket. Good handles. But even it's packed full of stuff. This is a Spalding Yogi Berra wooden baseball bat. You know, the flower sifter. A vintage thermos. I don't know if we got the top, the cup piece for it. People like vintage thermoses, though. So. <laughs> a Michelob beer cup. giant aluminum bottle opener toast to the host a bunch of other stuff that i don't know what it means here's some vintage thermos cups and stoppers hopefully the thermoses are in one of these boxes also if not you can still actually sell the uh, stoppers and cups because obviously people lose them or they get broken this is a vase uh stuff falling out of it it says something man i cannot read that but it's a cool vase we have another lidded jar black super dusty i mean you can just see what we were dealing with in that house hand painted rooster flowers hopefully a lot of these scratches when i go to wash it'll clean up and it'll look a little better but it's, it's old so there's gonna be wear you can see a little wear around the rim and this says rainsburg genuine hand-painted indiana indianapolis usa number 207 the last piece is a three-footed hammered i'm guessing copper or brass uh planter maybe plant stand planter it's cool you know if you clean that up that would be a piece to put a plant or something in and the last thing is just but we have two of those uh probably sell them in our booth here but usually the copper stuff sells pretty easily so no idea about a price on those but anyway moving on i'm going to clean this up same thing move down to the next box so be right back next we have this thing is very dirty i'm going to clean this up really well magic eraser works wonders though this is a this is a portable record player general electric stereo uh wildcat it says i got a needle be really cool to know if this actually worked but it needs to be cleaned up before i test it i have some old records that i'd be willing to test test it with because if it damaged them it wouldn't be any big deal but we'll check that maybe if uh before the episode's over with i got time i can clean this up and test it and i'll throw it in at the end of the uh episode now this box was super heavy so this has to be cookware cast iron some, i don't know something it was extremely heavy I thought the bottom was going to tear out of the box when I lifted it up. Oh, yeah. I see Wagner wear right on top. Oh, we got another vintage license plate. You want to guess the year? Looks like a newer one. I'm going to say 62. Nope. 
1953, New York, the Empire State. I might end up keeping all these license plates. This is a Wagnerware Drip Drop Roaster number nine lid. I wonder if we have the roaster somewhere. Uh, another mold Rawako cast iron. This is a metal, maybe. Oh, it's broken. Hands broke off of it. Oh, well. Oh, here is a... Cast iron flower basket doorstop. We've sold this exact one before. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head who it was though, but I don't see a marking either. But I'll find it pretty easily because like I said, I'm, we sold that very one previously. Some little bell I don't know off of. That is a brass, maybe a shoehorn. Hope you get your dress shoes on. Uh, here is another. This is a Griswold. Man, look at the dust on this thing. I can clean these up though. I've gotten really good at restoring cast iron, so I can make these look brand new. Uh, take me a few hours, but I'll have this thing looking brand new. This is a Griswold number eight Dutch oven with the entire part pot. Ugh, let's look at the rust that poured out of that. Like I said, I can get this looking brand new. You see the Griswold mark? Griswold is great cast iron. Put that on your bolo list if you didn't already know. Anything you see that says Griswold and it's cast iron. This is a ship. It's like a doorstop. Cast iron. So you can see what we got out of that last box there. This Griswold pot, that could be some really good money. Even the lid, the Wagnerware lid, the, the, you can piece these things out and sell them. I mean, people need, like, they have the, the pot without the lid. You know, they're looking for a specific one. But anyway, moving on, we got a, one more huge box and a tote. And actually, I might as well go ahead and talk about this since it's right up top. This, like I said, the guy had a lot of just random stuff. That is a brand new. Qui Gon Gin Mega Collectible. He's big. 0570 is the number on it. You can see it. I have no clue the value on these. I'll have to look it up. I'll put the uh, comp next to it. My applause. Do I see a year? I do not. But I'll find it. I'll put the comp up and you'll be able to see the year and everything. Interesting. All right, I'm going to clear this out of the way and move on to the next tote or box. Okay, I opened up this box and this looks like a lot of just different random stuff. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and pull all this stuff up on the tailgate so you can see uh, what was in the box better and you don't have to wait for me to unload it. But uh, as you can see, it's got a lot of just random different stuff in it. But anyway... Okay, this is stuff that was in that box. We got a lot of interesting items in here. Uh, a vintage letter, mail organizer. A glass soda bottle, I guess. There's a glass stem in it, so I need to be really careful. I wonder if I can get that off. I'm going to try that right now because I don't want to break it. Uh, has a logo on it, but I'm going to have to clean it up to make it it's very faint to make out what it really says. Cool piece. Glass, mid century napkin holder. Uh, it says something on the sticker, but it's so dirty I can't read it. Uh, another lot of these political buttons. They had a ton of these Nixon, Ike, 
Kennedy, Roosevelt, Truman, Grant. These might be reproductions. I'll have to check into it. Okay, next. There's more than one thing. Let me see here. Yes. <laughs> this big green swung vase. This was in the attic. I don't know if you remember watching the uh, walkthrough video. There was a pair of those. I'm assuming that's what's in the other box. I can see it sticking out. Just pull that out. There's a pair of those big green swung vases, but man, they are dirty. Yeah. Everything has to be clean that comes out of this house. But there was so much good stuff, and you can't complain about what we paid for the stuff, which was basically just to get it here, most of the stuff. The McCoy and Roseville pottery, that's the only thing we actually had to pay money for. This. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. What is this? 1986 Kurt Adler. It's like a hand puppet or something. Hey, I don't know. I'll have to come back to you on that one because I do not know what this is. Goody, it's got the receipt in it. Spiral lamp. I'm just get the year on it. Uh, what year was this bought? 99, 1999. Interesting lamp there. I think there's a few of these because I see at the top of this one it looks like that's a very similar. Animated action lamp. Animated action lamp. Maybe it rotates or something. I'm not sure how it's animated. Animated action lamp. First cram full of who knows what. Uh, that was like this fabric. That is a sweater. Vintage kid sweater. Assuming that's all similar stuff there. gold label collection the carousel I'm pretty sure that was in there yep I remember seeing this in the basement I was cleaning it out the carousel last thing was in that box and it was a bag full of racetrack vintage racetrack parts with the instructions these were the instructions we've got a year it looks extremely old do not see a year though but if i can find it i'll throw the comp up you guys will be able to see the uh, years on the stuff. All right, now I'm going to clear out of the way and get to this last tote. Okay, last tote. 
for this unboxing video. Okay. Oh man, I got some. This is a four leaf clover or clover mug. Left in Japan. This is. Uh, so that came from the Goodwill for three bucks, but the rims kind of chipped pretty bad. This is not in the best of shape. The red vintage Pyrex. That is a Linux shell dish. This looks super cool. This is a vintage chandelier light. See up under it. That thing is extremely cool. There's like more pottery. No, this is like a grass. This British Coal Mining Company, Wales, UK. Lantern brass. This could be a reproduction. It's got the serial number on it. I'll do some research. painted picture or vase vase probably it says Royal Floretta Ware Austria there's a number on it but I can't make it out exactly Deal what these are for. A, I feel like we've sold one of these before. It's a bear with a uh, heart glass figurine. We've definitely sold one of these. I just don't remember off the top of my head what it was. Another Roseville planter. Made in Hungary bank, pig bank. A rooster figurine metal. It says Ecuador. The bottom of it. brass lidded box Got some cool art etched into it there doesn't say anything on it uh, more of the little classic bulbs for our ceramic Christmas tree so that's awesome you can never have too many of these because a lot of times you find them and they're missing bulbs this looks like a lot of various pins. I have to dig through that and see what all's in there. That is another vintage light fixture shade. Very cool very dusty but at this point we just expect to have to wash everything as you can see another good uh haul from the uh, house clean out we did we still have so much stuff in our storage unit i took all these boxes out and when i was closing up i looked back and i was like we have barely made a dent in this stuff 
so we just got to keep our head down bear down and try to work our way through this stuff the stuff from the last video the majority of it has been listed or at least sorted through when we know we're going to sell it in town or what we're going to do with it still a few pieces left but uh we're working our way through it but like i said we got a lot of work ahead of us still but this is the fun part unboxing and looking at the stuff now we got to clean it and do the work part as always, visit our store at CoastalResaleTherapy.com. The link will be posted in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.